<laughs> That's why it's pumpkin spice and sweaters. Okay. I didn't yeah. expect that. Yeah. I yeah. I'm into that. Well, no. I mean, what did you say, Greg? You said if you're excited for fall, you're gay. Okay. Or well, a woman. Or a woman. Or a woman. Or a woman. Yeah. I'm Woody. That's Greg Gorey. Good morning, Woody. There's uh, Menace. What is up? There's uh, Gina Grant. Good morning. Seabass, good morning to you. Nice. There's uh, Sammy. Morning. Phones are open, 877-44-WOODY. You can hit us up with a text over to 22987 this hour. Uh, it's a Golden Bachelorette. Mm-hmm. It's the Golden Bachelorette on ABC. The much superior Woody Show version, a yeah. Golden Bachelorette. The ladies of Gilf. Dot com. Oh, hot. Coming at you this hour. I did see, um, <laughs> there was a write-up in the LA Times. They did a, uh, a big profile on this 71-year-old pole dancer. Oh. Her name is uh, Mary, and she's not a stripper, but she does perform. She also claims it's a fitness and exercise thing. Oh, yeah. Sure, yeah, they, it is. They, they changed that over a few years ago, and now people are pretending. Yep. Yeah, she uh, she started uh, pole dancing at 57 years old. Oh, God. good for her. When her last kid graduated from college, and the article calls her, quote, an embodied reminder that getting older doesn't have to mean forfeiting beauty, sexuality, strength, or the activities you love. Ooh. Okay. Way to go. I mean, yeah, and I have a, uh, I have take a the sexuality in. part out. Right. You go, girlfriend. Right, because it's, just, <laughs> it's just for fitness and exercise. I'll pass the uh, picture around. I mean, okay. for, for 71 years old, for Not 71 bad. years old, she you looks you good. Do it? Yeah. No, oh, damn. Yes. No, I wouldn't wow. do it. And she's uh, very she strong and very flexible. That, you uh, wouldn't do her? No, I wouldn't. I it's don't too, know. No, man. I, oh, look, she's 70? At uh, my age now, no. When I'm older, and that's you right. know what we're dealing with, then yes, of course. When she's in your age group. Yeah, right. Exactly. Not now. Right. Um, I mean, she's dude, really flexible. I get it. Like you see, like I remember, I was thinking about this recently, because when you were younger and you would see like a chick who's like in her mid thirties, you're like, ugh, ugh, so old. God, yeah. so my old. teacher's <laughs> age. Yeah. yeah, you you hit that point where you go from being a young person who the world is your oyster, and you have mm-hmm. you know uh you know consideration from other people who are in that mm-hmm. age group. Yep. And at some point, you hit that mm-hmm. age where you're now the old person. Yeah. yeah. You know, and not old, old, not like granny kind of old. But like old. the next chapter. The, yeah. next, the next chapter where you're kind of seeing more how you used to look at parents. Yes. Or teachers you, or things like that, like just old. I know you're old, but still you think that's hot. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, it's tr- <laughs> no, it's true, though. It's true, though, because I thought about this, too, and I thought... Even if I'm old, I'm not going to think an old guy's yeah. hot. Yeah. So I remember now, thinking, I, like, I remember thinking, old Kevin Bacon and stuff. Ooh. I remember thinking, like, some of my friends would think, like, one of the moms was hot. Right. Like, ew. And I, I was looking, like, Ugh, How could you even see yeah. her that way? Oh, because I was just more attracted to girls who were, like, my own age. Right. And mm-hmm. now You're, I see moms, and I go, oh, she's pretty. Yeah. Or, man, that mom's kind of hot. Wood slam. Wood slam. <laughs> yeah. Wood, wouldn't, would, yeah. like, I, like, there'd be any chance anyway. But like, it's <laughs> a fun game to play. Wood, wouldn't, whatever. Uh, and you go, oh, okay. I would have never thought that yeah. 10, 15, 20 years ago. But now, so like now I'm looking at, you know, a uh, 71 year old pole dancer chick here and I go, uh, no. Not there yet. Uh-huh. I'm sure when I'm 65 oh. or 70, I'll be like, she'll wow. Be oh, yeah. yeah. Bring yeah. her over. Well, uh. she'll be long gone, but I hear you. Well, she'll be long gone, but I'm saying <laughs> yeah, but there'll, but be, there'll, yeah. be, there'll the be a next, new crop. Yeah. The new crop is 70 year old. She has the look of, uh, Divorcee, former hot wife. Like yeah. she's been yes, hot her whole sure, life. Yeah, for sure. Hot. It's not like she found pole dancing and suddenly no, 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 blowed yeah. up from a four. She's yeah. been hot her whole life. Yeah. yeah, but I can say that even though I wouldn't, you know, I'm not interested in doing her. I, right. I, I would. I, I can sit here and go, wow, like she looks mm-hmm. great for you can for appreciate. Her age. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but man, it's like there's something about you know when you hug an old person or whatever, and it's that really <laughs> <laughs> that really loose, almost like yeah, see through skin. Yeah. Their hair's all like strawy. Not good. Yeah, it's like oh man, I just can't imagine you run your hands over that. Naked body and it's just Ugh. like thin, loose skin. Well, that's like, what you have to look forward to. I was going to say, I know. if you're like lucky, that's going to be all of us. Yeah. Hey, and <laughs> we'll if you're be lucky, 80 year olds. And if you're lucky, your boner still works. Yep. That's right. You know, you can still get it up and still do it. And, and yeah. you won't have to go to work, so you could do it all day. Oh, oh dude, that's yeah. all you and do. And you won't want to. Right. And yeah. so it's even Low great. Tea. Yeah, you won't. You <laughs> oh, won't that's be, true. You won't, you won't be left uh, feeling that you want to do it all the time like you do now. Right. You know, it'll be like, ah, you know. Once a month is pretty good. That's why yeah. you got to be YOLO about your sex life because it's going to run out. Yeah. Like, do it now while you want to. Yeah. yeah. Don't like, you, you only... have got to be YOLO when it comes to sex. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you get only a certain amount of shots? Right? Yeah. There's yeah. only a certain amount of nuts. <laughs> yeah. Really? Is it? Yeah. I talked no. to Hugh Hefner about that one. Uh, no. He, yeah. He was like doing well, dust. Well, in his 90s. <laughs> yeah. That but would he be, was just, that would be an interesting yet very sad interview. Like, talk to guys who have 
just now got ED and like what what was it like the first time it couldn't happen? Right. That would, that would be quite the problem. That would be interesting. And then to you'd learn. say, "Don't you wish you were yellow with sex?" <laughs> <laughs> Although CBS, I know that you talk about uh, taking some of those things. Hell yeah, bluechew.com promo code Woody. But unnecessarily. Uh, not unnecessarily for an extra like, kick. But I'm say, what? So you can't get a boner, or That's you can't get that, a super hard I've one. Explained this a lot of times. I haven't heard it. So the idea being, Gina, if you yeah. want to have, as my friend used to call it, porn star sex. Yeah. Or as I maybe have done sex with a porn star. You want you want to be able to go three, four, five times and have no refractory. Ah. So you're just like, oh yeah. She, she's like, what is going on back there? Oh my god. What a stunt. What a stunt. Yeah, oh, because I, I was just reading, you know, the big warnings about, uh, you know, don't take things when you don't need them yet, right. because what you're doing is you are setting yourself up to then need them. Right. You're like right. recalibrating. Mm, that's yeah. your zero. That is certain, like certain hormonal things. That's definitely a problem. You know, you hear that with steroids, how it shrinks the, uh, the they were the, talking more specifically. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know exactly what, I mean, the blue chew, is that, is that the same as like a Viagra? Yeah. It's the same yeah. active ingredient as Viagra and Cialis, mm -hmm. but at a fraction Cialis. of the price. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Deliver discreetly no, to your door. Just, <laughs> yeah, but I, I love the, uh, I think it is the Cialis one. Is that the one they show like the two, uh, you know, probably they're in their 60s. And they're, oh. in, they're in cl individual claw tubs yes, in their backyard. in the bathtub uh, outside. So, uh, yeah, which, yeah, being all romantic. Would, which uh -huh. would rule. Yeah, thank you, Greg. God, that yeah. would rule. Yeah, they, an outdoor bathtub. <laughs> they but, say a man can do it up to 50 times a day if he really wanted oh, to. <laughs> good God. Yeah, and then people right. are like. Well, who wouldn't he, want to? And there's Me. so many questions asking if you could die. Wait, I just want to know how many. 50 nuts? Yeah. I mean, if I could, I mm. would. Are you? Um, I mean, two. They said it within 24 hours. I like, know, but fifty nuts in twenty four hours. That sounds yeah. impossible. Like you're potentially physiologically. Yeah, capable. you're gonna pull because it people off. People are asking if you could die from that. <laughs> I would die. think. I would think like a, something would fall out. Yeah, some chafing <laughs> at the very least. Out. Fall yeah. out, or I'm just thinking like you know by <laughs> by number four or five. You, what kind of payload are you delivering? <laughs> yeah, nothing. <laughs> right? Is it like a an eyedropper? Bleep. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's <laughs> that's that's so it's yeah. just a sound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They said the average man in a lifetime does it 8,700 times. Mm. That's a lot. But okay. That sounds think, low. Like, Wait, is that with a partner or just, a, you know? Just, probably yeah. just total. Okay. record. That makes more sense. Right. But I'm wondering, Seabass, when you yes. say like the girl's like, whoa, hey, I, as a woman and as somebody who's who also knows a lot of people in the adult film industry, High five. women have two complaints, too hard, too fast. Right. Yeah. You don't mm. want to jackhammer. That's for sure. I right. agree. But what so, about also too long? Ex mm -hmm. That was my, ne that is exactly where I was going. Be like, are we done yet? Can we wrap this I, up? I, because yeah. I think guys were conditioned to think that, uh, you know, go all, all night, night yeah. long. All, all night. night. Yeah, they yeah. don't want that. Right. No. I just give her till, we're going to make love till dawn. Like, that's, Please, that sounds no. awful. Mm -hmm. Give her four or five good uh, trips around the sun and then let her go. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Send her on her way. Right, Seabass? I know. You can cuddle. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, we're cuddling gets, now. Cause I slide, I mean, I'm one of those guys who falls asleep right away. So yeah, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah, yeah. Exhausted. My job is done. That's a great sleep aid. Oh, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. No, if, if, women. Most women. I know any one girl who was like like a guy like that. But most women don't understand. It is. It does release sleep hormones. For oh us. yeah. And shame uh -huh. hormones. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah, and shame. Like the second you're done, you're like, oh, uh, yeah. what have what I did done? I do? <laughs> yeah. God, I'm a deviant. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> everything else has left your body. Right. right. Except for the shame. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That I goes knew, into your body. I did one, one girl. I did one girl who was li three seconds later. <laughs> oh, that's oh, perfect. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, that was awesome. talk. That's pretty great. Yeah, no talk. Oh, rib. Yeah. Where do right, you get well, that? <laughs> speaking of talking, we have uh, Sea Bass with this round of a golden bachelorette coming up next. Talking to the ladies of Gilf dot com about themselves and about right. life. Not he's about, very sweet. Not just about yeah. the bases realities. Yeah. Yeah, but they are the worst liars. How dare you, Greg? They are. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, what are you up to today? Instead of being like, oh, thinking about you. No. They're like, yeah. well, I'm about to take my mom to the doctor. <laughs> my mom has cataracts. <laughs> like, that's they're a bad. lie. They no, should like, be lying. No, like, they're not they trying to lie. No, exactly. Uh, they're bad at they lying. They should be lying better. <laughs> oh, oh, I've been okay. thinking about you. Oh, oh, I'm yeah. going to pole dancing class later. Right. That's yeah. what they should be Even saying. though I'm 71. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But instead, oh, yeah, I'm off to see them. <laughs> Get my, yeah. my corn my shaved down. Yeah. <laughs> so Seabass with these old ladies that he's talking to on these webcams, he can, uh, you know, click a, a tip to them and you hear the little cha ching And uh, they're hooked up to, like, their toy is hooked up to, like, the, like the, the in, system. Right. And Lucas. so when a, when a tip comes through, all of a sudden it gives them a little zzz, and they, oh, so they go oh. wild. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
so hot, you know? <laughs> the hottest. Well, it's weird because like... It Do shows... that, ABC. <laughs> <laughs> it shows sensitivity because some of them are hooked they're, Some of them are hooked up and it's just like, yeah, cool, all right. Uh. Right. Or well, some of them double over like you're, you are kicked them in the, <laughs> in the hooves. Yeah, see, that's the a good, good line. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's what you want. Like, this is what I'm paying for. Right. I just gave you a dollar tip, you yeah, know? Yeah, show me a little excitement. Right. Of which you're getting 30 cents. All right. Yep, rolling right along here on this Wednesday morning. It is the Woody Show, and while ABC, they're busy doing the Golden Bachelorette, and you had mentioned in, in your right seat, Bess, I had, uh, I'm not hearing a ton about oh. this the way that you heard about Golden Bachelor. Bachelor, yeah. I don't know if the girl's just a dud or what. Yeah. yeah. And also, are they still doing regular Bachelor, Bachelorette? Is that still a thing? I don't... Yes. Yeah. It is? Think they oh, because that's another one. I'm, yeah. Well, I've never watched it, so it's not on my radar. It was on my radar only because it seemed huh. like for a while... That's every, all you heard about. Like every single time there was an episode, there would be big recaps huh. right. and all this stuff on social. And that seems to have kind of died off. Which yeah, is nice. now they just pluck uh. one out of the chorus from the season yeah. before. You know what? They probably heard us doing like our own version of uh. Uh, a Bachelorette and now a Golden Bachelorette. And they're like, well, how do we, you know, look, this yeah. is just so much more superior. Like, and people just don't talk about the other one anymore. Yeah, there's no reason to. Yeah, because we certainly hear about the old ladies and sea bass is talking to on <laughs> gilf.com. And he's uh, loaded up. He's got a bunch of tips ready to go. And he's just talking to them about their day and sweet things that old ladies like to talk about. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or about, you know, if we have common interests. And last yeah. time we had Menace for his birthday month uh-huh. you know, in the chat talking to these old ladies, these are golden <laughs> bachelorettes. And uh, so this time I uh, got a different member of the Woody Show oh, in yeah? on the fun. All right. Hello. Mm, thank you, Sammy. Mm, how are you doing? Excited about pumpkin spice latte season. So I'm not a big pumpkin person, no. <laughs> uh, thank you, Sam. What about ducks or sweaters? I like my cowboy boots. I've got some sweaters, yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, wow. so she's very excited for fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah talking pumpkin spice. Yeah, is that so, supposed to be Greg? No, it's Sammy. 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 Oh, Sam, I couldn't yeah. hear it. Oh, thank yeah. you, Sammy. That's yeah. Sammy. Oh, that's that's me. Me. Yeah. oh my god. Oh. Mm, thank you, Sammy. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow, Sammy, jeez. <laughs> that's why it's pumpkin spice and sweaters. Oh, yeah. I didn't yeah. expect that. Yeah. I yeah. Really I'm into that. Well, Ooh. I mean, what did you say, Greg? You said if you're excited for fall, you're gay. Okay. Or, or a woman. Or a woman. Or a yeah. woman. Yeah. So either, one, either, either guest would have been fine. Right. <laughs> so yeah. now Sammy's in the room uh, talking to this is Colleen, yeah. by the way. Uh, uh-huh. Let's talk about Sammy's favorite movies and her favorite hot mm-hmm. actor, Glenn Powell. Oh, oh okay. okay. <laughs> let's see what uh, Colleen has to say about that one. Oh, Sammy. Glenn Powell is so hot. It's <laughs> Glenn Powell. He's that red-faced actor in the movies. Yeah, I, I don't watch TV. I don't watch movies. Um, <laughs> Do you only read books? I don't really have time for that anymore. I get up, I do my cleaning, I do my errands, and then I get on here. Um. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't believe people who say that. Like, what do you? Like, I don't watch is TV. Your entire, I don't watch. Mm-hmm. Is your enti- yeah. again? If, they'll say, do you read books? No, I don't do that. So, what do you just get up and work and for just, sixteen hours yeah, and go to bed? I gotta say, uh, until I watched a little bit of TV this past weekend because there was literally nothing to do but during the week, unless it's a game. Yeah. Like the TV doesn't even go on. Yeah, but he, at least you have social media. I don't know. If the chick's on social media, either well, this is her social media. Right. Yeah, she gets I up, does so. she? Pro- she sounds like your aunt Chrissy. She gets up, does Kinda. her cleaning. Maybe she does some yeah. Airbnb cleaning. Yeah, yeah. And then gets naked on a camera. Yeah. And- <laughs> <laughs> no, my aunt Chrissy's not doing that. But maybe she just doesn't want to be like the others who are like, I'm bringing my mom for cataract surgery. Yeah, I watch yeah, my yeah. grandkids all day. <laughs> yeah. Well, she needed something to do. She can get a couple extra bucks by uh, getting there and <laughs> naked on the on the gilf.com cams. It's called making an honest living. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Who else do we have here? This is Jenny. And we're just going to do straight up girl talk with uh, mm. Sammy. Okay. Sammy, thanks for the gold. My husband left me. Your husband left you? <laughs> well, I'm so sorry to hear that. 
I was so annoying, I drove him to drink. <laughs> <laughs> I annoy my husband, too. It's all right. <laughs> Sammy, thank you for the gold. Oh, so, yeah. Geez. So she's not even pretending oh, to. Uh, wow. Well, not, not all of them have the vibe. Oh, they're not. Okay. No, yeah. Some of them, like, because you can't just, some women aren't just built to take. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That sort just, of beating. Yeah, just, yeah. just the constant. Yeah, right. <laughs> They're just being besties. Yeah, just yeah. just chatting. Yeah. So, okay, so, uh, yeah, she got some insight. She's got a husband, so uh -huh. maybe she has some man advice. Okay. What is the best way to get a man? What's the best way to get a man? Let him f*** in the a oh, and make oh. him a sandwich. Ooh. Darn it, my idea of fun is homework movies. <laughs> Sweetheart. Oh, and give him his alone time. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best way to get him? Okay. That's what Wendy, hey, Menace, RIP, but that's what Wendy Williams used to say is she never left the house with her man uh, unfulfilled. Yeah. yeah. You know, just keep What's him... the best way to get a man? Let him f*** in the and make him a sandwich. Oh. All right. Simple pleasures. I mean, she, <laughs> is she wrong? Is she, not, is she yeah. wrong? Gina, how's that working out for you? And Greg, yeah. how's that working oh, out? Oh, yeah. it's perfect. 10 out of 10. Yeah, yeah. absolutely perfect. No complaints yeah. if you And easy. Yeah, but yeah. the saying was, keep him drained and fed, <laughs> and you'll have a, <laughs> a man for life. Yeah, sure. So yeah. Fun. Sure. All right, it's so Woody Show, a golden bachelorette. Chatting it up with the ladies at gilf.com. This next lady, I, I saw her, and she was wearing, and she's, you know, Plus sized, uh, she's mm -hmm. wearing a Steelers like onesie, like uh, a nighty onesie? top, like no, well, like a nighty top, like, you oh. know, like a, like a like a night dress, yeah. like a menace has, but yeah. but like a tighter sort of. Like, yeah. uh, okay, like, like a yeah. true fan. <laughs> yeah, they only she, make those in certain sizes, yeah. so <laughs> maybe it's not tight by design. <laughs> right. <laughs> and she had like above her because these are mostly shot in the, these women's bedroom. Behind her was like some kind of picture collage with T.J. Watt and Ben nice. Roth mm. Roethlisberger. Oh. Okay. We're just gonna well, talk football with Beatrice. Yeah, okay. I like her angle. Mm, Sammy, hi. Thank you, baby. Love your Steelers talk. Thank you. I went to the game. I had up close seats too. <laughs> my first game ever. My brother took me. Do you think Russell Wilson will play? I hope so. I don't know. I don't think he wants to play, to be honest. <laughs> Ooh, yes, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I see now. She's, She's got like, like a Steelers like a tank top. She's almost. a big fan. And a necklace? Like, literally. Big yeah, fan. Big, yeah. big. Yeah. Big fan. Yeah, she like got the necklace uh, going. Big cam. Didn't, uh, didn't make her bed though, Greg. Mm, well, I know. She's still using yeah. it. I like how she has her high heel shoes on the yeah. headboard. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. Sexy. That's hot. <laughs> and also like a couple of wireless routers. <laughs> right. <laughs> or whatever on the, on the other side on the top. That, that's she does might be lamps. Most of the women on uh, the the guild, they have a better yeah. setup. You know, it's lights and like pink boas and you know, mm. it's sort of more of a set. This is just yeah, like, make hey, it what's more up? sexy. Here's my water uh, bottles. Well, she wants, bedroom. She wants to be the whore grandma next door, you know. Right. Uh -huh. That's the, I think that's what she's going for. She wants to be approachable. What are your overall thoughts of the headboard? Very modern. Yeah, yeah, it's not it bad. It looks like an Ikea sort of Yeah, not thing. a fan. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. I don't, I don't that could be bad. a dresser. With but, hey, but if she went to the game. Up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do you show? A golden bachelorette. Well, this next one, this next lady had a much better bedroom. And uh, Sammy, again, who's a big, uh, you know, knitting fan. Sure. Saw a blanket and commented on Sharon's oh. setup. Oh. oh. All right. Oh, uh, Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> I like your blanket. Did you knit it? Mm, my blanket here. You know how to knit, Sammy? Um, I have sewn before. Mm, oh, thank wow. you for that, Sammy. Oh, oh wow. wow. She's okay. so sexual. That was, that was sensual. Oh, thank you, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, that's what Greg's looking for. I like that. Well, that yeah. was good. So, like, it actually I mean, affects her. Good. Like, her voice went up. With the, uh, uh, yeah. I've yeah. sewn before. Yeah, yeah, she's trying. Yeah, no, she's not trying. She's really being affected. I mean, she's yeah, trying to yeah. get through the sentence. Right, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah. So Good. let's talk with Sharon about one of other uh, Sammy's other passions. Are you into astrology? <laughs> I used to be when I was younger. Are you? Yeah, Sammy. Is Mercury in retrograde? <laughs> um, I don't think it is, though it has seemed like it should have been. Mercury's in Scorpio right now. No. Oh, Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> it's like, bring. Oh, oh, yeah. 
Mer- uh, Mercury in Scorpio. What does that is mean? In Scorpio? So what does that mean? Well, I think like it's aligned with it. The... Well, it's Scorpio season, isn't it? It is. Oh, oh no, 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 not no, yet. Because no, right never mind. Because I think uh, yeah, uh, the twenty something. I think is when it becomes. I don't know. What is it, Sammy? Yeah. I'm a uh, Scorpio, but my birthday's the 30th. You're a Scorpio. You're the 28th. Yeah. So it's probably like, it's yeah, like I think it's after right. the 20th. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's, uh, yeah. So I don't follow all that fake stuff. All right. well, yeah. no, Greg, I mean, Greg, this is Menace. This is People.com. Yeah. They talk to a real official astrology uh, really? person cool. about Mercury <laughs> being in Scorpio, meaning that the, the planet Mercury, as far as from where we're looking at it, is over the constellation, which again Uh-oh. means nothing, like Greg said. Oh, no. Uh, it says uh, it make it can make us obsessed about finding the truth. Oh, mm. okay. Since okay. Scorpio is very direct and concise, okay. okay. So well, re- that makes, this is a good time to sense. research everything. Mm. Mm. Leave no stone unturned, Greg. But mm. other times of the year, don't research. No, be oblivious. Nope. Right. Don't worry about right. it. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, well, there's uh, Woody's show, a <laughs> golden bachelorette. <laughs> nice. nice. That last one was kind of hot. Sammy, you did a good job. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Talking some to of these, your best. These old whores, mm-hmm. and we got some uh, really good advice. What's the best way to get a man? Let him f- in the a- and make him a sandwich.